Welcome back everyone and today is the 8 year anniversary for PS4 release November 15, 2013. It's been 8 years and this console is still for sale and you still can't get a PS5 and all the new games coming out for 2022 are still also coming out for PS4. So this console is going to see another 2 or 3 years more of service life. I was able to find this at Target about, I don't know, about two or three weeks ago. I'll actually show you guys the back of the box. This is one of the most recent ones. And it's it's not bundled with anything, but I had never purchased a PS4 before. I was always waiting for it and was waiting for the PS5. But obviously, it's going to be a little bit longer. So this is actually a one terabyte version. So we're going to open this up, obviously. See, one terabyte HDR, and let's actually check this out because this console is going to still be relevant because the new Grand Turismo is also coming out for PS4. Look at that, yeah, this thing's a little bit loose. Okay, here we go. Ah. Oh, that's actually super cool. Flaps down like that, and the console is inside like that. Okay, Let's take it out. It's a box inside of a box, basically. What do you know? A box inside of a box. That is very clever. And it's gonna open up on the side here. Let's try to move a few things out of the way. I'm doing this with my iPhone, obviously, so it's not actually ideal. And let's see what else do we got in there. Okay. Controller. HDMI cable. What else do we have in here? USB for the controller. Power. Let's put our hands in here. What else can we get? What else do we have in here? And I believe, oh. Basically a headset. That's kind of cool. What else is in this box? Let's see, what else are we going to get out of this box? And... Here it is. PS4 itself. Very slim line, obviously. Got very small. Shockingly, the PS4 is actually... St it's still pretty decent for very old technology because once consoles come out they're basically outdated from the day they are announced actually which is kind of sad which makes cons which makes console gaming just a little bit more irrelevant these days but let's see and that's just how it is look at that actually that's kind of neat you got like the little X's and O's and triangles. Oopsies. And this, yeah, this thing is very thin. You guys can see the, where the air is going to be coming out of. To cool this thing down. This is actually, it's actually very sleek. It's a lot smaller than the PS3's and the PS3, you know, the smaller ones. Now there is actually a pro version of this, which I believe, there's, there are your ports back there, that does actually support multiple screens. That's the only downside with this, is it doesn't support multiple screens. Let's, let's see if there's anything else in this box. Quick start guide, huh? Yeah, it's actually sealed, let's keep that sealed. Actually kind of cool. Is there anything else in here? No. Big empty box. Let's get rid of the box. All right. 
right. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. So you got your controller. She my cables. So we have everything here we need now. So the only reason why I was also buying this was because of Grand Tosmo. Grand Tosmo is coming out in March of 2022, and obviously I don't have a PS5 yet. But you know, with these with these driving games, you know, you don't really need the newest graphics. And since they're making all the games for both consoles, you're perfectly fine. But that was it. Yeah, that was unboxing a new PS4 eight years after it got released. Ah, oh, how I missed the PS PlayStation controllers. Look at that. That is actually a really nice controller. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Let me know what games you are playing on the PS4, and maybe we'll do a walkthrough.